the brochure, which will be handed over to the Honorable Minister by Ms. Shruti. Amal Tamarayana Aditya brochure on Honorable Minister Ms. Shruti hand over to the Honorable Minister. Good afternoon and thank you everyone so much for being here today. As many of you know, Tamara Leisure Experiences is synonymous with responsible hospitality. And one of the primary ways in which we have demonstrated this is through our eagerness to question traditional ways of doing business and conducting our operations. We constantly innovate in order to ensure that it is not just Tamara that benefits from our actions, but it is also the community and the environment and the people who work with us, alongside of us as our employees, as well as the other stakeholders of our organization, like our vendors and partners in uh, government and elsewhere. Designing an environmentally and socially conscious business model in hospitality has not been easy. As all challenges, uh, you know, uh, progress is difficult sometimes when you face these kinds of challenges. But one of the key factors that has made this journey enormously rewarding and measurably successful is the collaborative support that we've received from like-minded, purpose-driven leaders. In addition to my close personal attachment to Kerala, I greatly admire my home state and its leaders for remaining front runners in thoughtfully and efficiently crafted initiatives that not only make it easy to do business here, but also bolster conscious businesses such as Tamara to sustain climate sensitive and socially inclusive policies. The Honorable Minister, um, Mr. Riaz, Minister for Public Work Department and Tourism, Government of Kerala, has been very kind to join us today. Thank you for being here and making time to be here. It is a pleasure to have you all with us. Your forward-thinking ideas embody and elaborate a long tradition of social empowerment, economic acumen, and cultural wisdom evident in the history of Kerala. As an entrepreneur and an investor in the state, I am especially happy to see the digitization of tourism. The recently launched WhatsApp platform on which a virtual assistant, Maya, assists both the domestic and international travelers, clarifying everything from broad travel plans to specific queries is a notable step towards maximizing the use of technology to make tourism more sustainable and accessible. Caravan tourism, similarly, the homestay campaign that I recently saw a few days ago, these are all amazing initiatives which are being taken up by the government to ensure that tourism in Kerala is, is focused on quality not necessarily quantity, but the quality of our tourism is strong. This progressive and value-based approach to local communities, landscapes, and native resources is among the many reasons that Tamara remains an optimistic investor in Kerala. We presently have two properties operational in the state. Of course, this one, which we are at right now, Obai Tamara, which is our upscale business hotel. And our second is our recently launched Ayurvedic property, Amal Tamara, in Alibra. Amal is the third of the Tamara resorts, 
It is a project that bears great personal resonance and pride for me, as I spent a lot of time in Alipi, of course, growing up, but I'm also the granddaughter of an Ayurvedic doctor. We also plan to launch two more properties in Kerala in the coming, this year, between this year and next year, one in Kannur and one in Gurvayur. And in addition to that, we are currently developing an extremely unique property in Mahama that will reinvent one of Kerala's most iconic experiences, houseboats, within a holistically eco-conscious framework. Through its long-standing leadership in nature-centric wellness centers such as Ayurveda, environmental preservation, tech-enabled green solutions, and community empowerment, Kerala has made its mark on global tourism. Today, as a conscious post-pandemic traveler, seeks new sustainable arenas for meaningful, health-focused experience, Kerala ranks among the most coveted places to visit, both as a Malayali and as the CEO of a growing responsible hospitality group, I am proud to reconfirm our commitment to invest in our state and partner with the progressive leaders of the state. I look forward to our continued work together, uplifting Kerala's well-deserved allure as one of the world's most beautiful, thoughtfully developed, and well-preserved destinations. Thank you so much.